this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. So, it looks like everything is working. It don't look like it's any shorts, but we won't be able to actually see that until we start testing out the grid through the microcontroller. Okay. So what we're going to do is we actually need to wire this up more. As you saw, we actually have a resistor here. What I need is eight of them. I'm going to use a 1K resistor for this project. Pulling out eight of them from my supply here. Here's how we're going to work with this. We're going to bring the leads to the forefront. This is where your planning comes in. What I want to do is I want to put the resistance on the other side, right? I'm going to press a hole right about here where I feel the end of the lead at. Gonna wiggle it around a little bit, remember? Although these shouldn't be as hard as actually putting in the LED because this lead is smaller. Okay. And I'm gonna bend it right over the top of the lead, you see? That's going to make it easy for me to solder it to this lead. So let me heat up my solder now. Because now that we have everything set up, what we want to do is kind of try to make it easy for us to get to all this. So I'm going to tin end my solder now. And I'm going to just solder the lead onto the resistor. Make sure it's attached. And it is. Okay, so see, that's going to make it easier. That's row H. That's going to make it easier for me to actually deal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do each row, and I will be right back. Okay, and just in case you didn't quite see what was done, with the resistors and as you can see we have all of them lined up right now except for one we are gonna do this last one with you again now thought about this and I was trying to get the holes to match with the end of the lead but you wanna have some aesthetics in mind when you're doing this so what I came up with is to just put it in the hole to line up with all the other resistors. Okay. Just like that. I'm holding it in place and I'm turning it over. And I'm going to bend it so it kind of meet right at the tip. I want it to meet right at the tip there. And hope it stays in place. it a little bit more. Of course, tanning my solder in there. Cleaning the tip. And I'm going to try to get it so that it's solder right there. Okay. So that should be good. So we're bending up the lead. As you can see, like every other one was done here. We're going to take our snips. 
because there's no point in that being there because the lease is on the other side. And we're going to snip off the lease. Making sure not to. And see how that popped off? You want to put your finger on there to keep it from popping off. The worst thing you want to happen is that pop off in your eye. So. Keeping your finger on top of it kind of controls it a little bit. Like I said, and as you saw, these leaves are saved for other things. Like when we had to extend all the leaves. And the last one. Alright. So our negatives is now taken care of. They're on the other side. That's going to make testing these a lot easier. So as you can see, after you saw it, it might be bent to the side. Just go ahead and bend it down. Try to get everything straight and everything is lined up. Okay. Now we have these negatives now easier for us to test and actually see what we're doing. Now we want to bring our positive legs off because remember this is a testing board. That's why we didn't actually put it on a circuit board because it's for experimenting and getting our processes right. But what we want to do now is bring our positives to the forefront. The way we're going to do that is somewhat the same. We want to plan where we want the wire to come out. Right here at every intersection is good for me. We're going to punch our holes through. That's why we wanted to get the grid marked out. So that we could kind of like line up things. As you can see, remember my grid was kind of imperfect or kind of not lined up good. But right now you can't even tell that much. So what we want to do at this point is get out some wire. I'm going to use solid wire. You can use stranded wire, but it's just going to mean that it's going to be a little bit harder to get it through the hole right there. That's why I'm using solid wire. So take a look at your other side. Your hole should line up just about right with your leaves. There's no reason to use different color wires because we have a numbering system right there. We know these are our, our letters and these are our numbers. But we're just going to use the same color wire. We're not going to go by the coloring of the wire. We're going to go by the numbers of the wire. So red will signify that it's the power line. So we're fine with that. What we want to do is we want to have just enough wire to reach our lead here. We want to measure it out to be about the same size as uh, the resistor, just for, I would say, um, uniformity. That should be long enough. Let me use my wire cutters. Snips just wasn't all that good for cutting the wire. Okay. So I need eight pieces of wire. 
two, four, six, eight. And that was the short piece. Now, remember, we don't want all too much going through the cardboard, but we want enough to meet up with the lead. So we're just going to have to eyeball this a little bit. Get it to where you want it. This is what this wiring is 22 AWG hookup wire cord. So it's 22 gauge cord. I find that putting it on 20 does what I need it to do. So just strip that off. Let's see how it works when we put it through to the other side. It just meets. And I think that'll be fine. And it's sitting there, so let's hope it sit there until we get it soldered. side let's just make sure it's stand put what I did is I got the wire strippers is sitting on top of the wire the wire is sitting on top of the wire strippers and I bent it I'm Ebony Geek and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.